Bully has never been in with anyone like me. Yes! Yes! Doesn't matter what he's capable of or what his game plan is, I'll make sure I'm victorious on August 7th. I feel like a different animal at Cruiserweight. <laughs> this is my breakthrough night. Uh, this might be his big opportunity, but I won't be letting him take it. And I ain't gonna pass up this opportunity. I will have my hand raised. Obviously, strange times for everyone. Um, something that I'm not used to, especially since I've turned pro. I've been away for probably 90, 95% of the year. Three months at home and self-motivating again and finding things that would keep me motivated by doing finding training that I enjoyed and stuff like that. Um, feel like uh, I've definitely become, used the time to my benefit and become a better athlete for it. After three months off, it was a, a bit different, but the, uh, yeah, all the, all the banter and stuff and all that's all still there. So it's all, it's good, good laugh having uh, all the lads back. I've been flat out for the ball, God, about eight, nine weeks now. Well, I say since January, because we made the fight before in May. So I haven't really stopped training. The road is, you know, become my best friend over the, the last couple of weeks. So it's going really well, just starting sparring now. Started sparring last week as well. Well, I come from a boxing family. Um, my uncle from Fairwater had a gym St. Clair's. His, all his brothers fought. Um, my nan was involved in it some, somehow. And it just so happens we were out walking the dog once, um, me and my dad, and stumbled across this gym with ex two times two way British champion Pat Thomas in it. And um, I hadn't looked back really since, since that day. I've had one fight where he was coming to win and he got knocked out in the second round. I'm taking nothing away from Jermaine, he's a, he's a daft, tidy fighter, but the rest, the, and then it just went to being back to journeyman again. People trying to survive, and that's not what I want out of this sport. I want to fight the best to be the best. Still believe I won the fight. I think, you know, it's, it's not about luck, but sometimes luck can go against you. And, you know, the, the scorecards were so wide in, in the sense of there was one wide to me, there was one wide to him, and then there's one right down the middle. If Hunter's got scored the knockdown, which I don't believe was a knockdown, I could have got a knockdown scored for me at the end of the ninth. Um, but that's just, that's boxing. You know, I'll, I'll learn from it. I'll, I'll be better for it. To be honest, I, I thought he won, to be honest. I've watched that fight a few times and I still believe he won that fight. Um, he's a good fighter. He's, he, he's got a good shot selection up to body and head. Um, he's, uh, he's a fit, strong, physical, physical guy like so. I got my work cut out, it's not going to be an easy night, you know, and, uh, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting in the ring with him. Yes! I took a lot more shots than I, I, I thought I did on the night. I didn't really, I didn't feel like I got hit on the night. Um, then I watched it back and, you know, Craig's a, a very good fighter. He's, uh, he's got a good jab, he, he can punch. Um, but I knew I just, it was just one of those, it was a decent performance. There's plenty of things to work on. Like I said, I got hit a lot more than I'd like to. Um, so that would be, it's definitely something me and, me and Shane have worked on since. Every, everyone I fight or everyone I've padded or sparred have always said um, that I'm just big, big and awkward. So um, he will have his work cut out, but likewise, you know, I've got my work cut out. I'm not, I'm not coming in to just fall down, I'm, I'm coming in to win. I believe it'll be tricky for early on. Um, I think it'll be, it'll be quick hands, quick footed. The thing is, it's not like I'm a flat footed fighter that without a high work rate. Uh, I box at a really high work rate the whole time anyway. So I'll be working with him. And I, I, I think he'll just tire a lot sooner and I believe I'll hit a lot harder than him as well. So um, he's got range, he's got quick hands, he's got a boxing brain, he's got good ability. Um, but also it's a big step up for him, I believe from his previous fights. But We'll see how he deals with the occasion. It's, um, it's different for all of us in the sense that there's not going to be any fans, but the occasion of it being a first 12 rounder, it's up at cruiserweight against someone who is a cruiserweight, you know, naturally. And he's, you know, I, I'm building into the weight all the time. So it'd be interesting to see how strong he is in there. Moving up, jumping up, having a chat with Gary and just saying, look, I'm fed up with struggling and uh, made the jump. And I feel a million times better for it. Feel fitter, stronger. Um, I'm just, just an all-round better fighter, really. Since the move with Gary, I feel just, in myself, I feel better protected, uh, more power, just 
my skill set has come on. There's not many teachers at a sport, I find. There's a lot of fitness, they get you fit, or they'll tell you what to punch. But I think Gary is a good teacher and breaks things down really well and shows you how to throw the shot, where to throw the shot, and when to throw it. And, um, and we'll all find out on August the 7th that the work we, that I've put in over like the past year, two years with Gary, that it, will, it will show. Since the Glover fight, uh, I've been out sparring Maris Bredis, who's obviously the world number one, so that was a great experience for me and learned so much out there. And that was like having another fight under my belt because you're, you're in a foreign country. It's probably more beneficial than my first six, seven fights all put together. So I think definitely the, the more experience you get naturally, you, you're going to settle down and sit down a little bit more, take your time and pick your shots out. So yeah, I think that's what you'll see of me on August 7th. The amount of people that have asked if they can come to the garden, um, Matchroom Square Garden as they're calling it. It's something that's probably never ever going to happen again and it's probably never ever happened. So um, people will look back on it and it'll go down in history as something, uh, you know, something amazing in a pandemic. It's history isn't it? It's something you know, that I'll, I'm really excited for the experience because not many people are getting to get that experience. I'm very fortunate to be in that position. I see it with me winning and no other way. <laughs> I'll do what I have to do to keep my belt.